Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to create the YouTube VR 360 degree 3D animations in iClone 8. How to use the iClone 8 to render the virtual reality 360 degree and upload to YouTube. So start from now, I'm going to show you step by step. All right, now you can see as you sure, you already as an iClone, iClone 8 user and now all this panel already in standard window workplace standard and this is your i project your icon project already ready to render for example this if i play you can see this is just a, a normal camera where this camera will only render to the front and this is the range range from from this frame to uh, this frame this is the frame one, two, three, two. All right, now, if I want to render it as a 360 degree, first, I have to create a, a dummy here. You have to go to the prop and select a prop to create a dummy. You better select just a 3D block. Just select a cube to put it here. This is a box. All right, now, this is the center of the world. And then double click and select this box tick here set as dummy so that you, you won't see it right now go to the scenes if you already selected your dummy you press f it is going to render the camera is going to focus at the front you press f right so now this is some something that too low already so you click and press w to make sure it tastes higher and press F to make sure the camera is looking to the front and this is the center the word as this here the center so click the box 01 and press F or if you want to move this dummy you can press W go to somewhere else for example here next you you click and press F it is going to focus out there right and next we are going to render it so you can just click window and then the workplace choose final render right and then do not move anything if you move move ready then you are going to look to the front already go back to the window workplace standard make sure back to the scene and press the box zero zero once this is where your camera is going to look or you can just go to window workplace all right go to the window and you should be able to see the render where is the render the toolbar it's not here workplace final render is here or you can choose all panel if you choose all panel you can just close close anything at, at the bottom and now you will have a, a render at here so next back to the scene click the box and press f under your render choose video and then you already have the video range that you want to render next you can just scroll down tick enable 360 degree panorama then this one also tick it enable for youtube and facebook this one you have to tick it so that later after you finish render your video you upload it to youtube or facebook at this automatically turn your video to 360 degree format right now click box 001 and press f always press f the dummy is where your camera is going to focus okay that direction next if you already selected the range you can just scroll down the format of the video is mp4 once selected ready scroll down and click export All right as demo, I'm going to export it on my desktop and the file name, I'm going to name this as VR360 degree sample 01. Then I click save. Now it is going to render and it, it, it will take a few minutes here. And you can see in my computer, it is rendering very, very slow, quite slow. For every second, it is about two frames. If I right click here, task manager, 
Then I can see the performance of my computer. This is the GPU. I right click change to single engines. You can see right click change to multiple engines. Now it is using my CPU about 20 about 29 percent. And how about my GPU? I have two GPU. It, it is using both. The first one is the AMD 27 percent and also the Nvidia GeForce. This is G this is this is RTX 3060 Ti. So it is utilized about about 26 percent and I have to wait for a while until it finish. Now it's about 39 percent. Right. Now it's almost done. It is about 90 percent. It is still rendering. Just now I paused the video recording for a while. Now it just left left a few frames here, about 20 frames. It is almost ready. And once it finished, it is going to automatic compile it to become a 360 degree VR video. And you can play it inside your computer as well. This is Microsoft Windows 10 or if you are using the Microsoft Windows 11. So now the media exports complete, open it. Now you can choose yes and just have a look. Now you can see it automatic play, play by using the VR 360 degree. And you can see actually my camera is just focused at at the dummy just now, the dummy is here. Of course, it is not going to render the dummy. Right. If you don't want to play with the 360 degree, you can click here to untick play as 360 degree video. Then it is going to play as the equal rectangular format. Actually, this is how, how the texture is going to plot. This is the, the UV map, something like this. We call it equal. Equal rectangular map. All right now, where's my video? My video is at here just now. I choose it to save it on my desktop. Now I close this. If I double click to play, now everything already done. This video you can upload it to YouTube as usual, and the YouTube is automatic convert it to three hundred and sixty degree VR video, and you don't need to do any any work. Everything will be automatically. Next. You back to the icons and this one of course you can save it. Save everything. Now let's say if you want to render render the camera, the, the moving camera, it is still the same. Right, let's say now if I choose for example the linear camera, the orbit camera, for example, linear camera. Linear camera, it is going to, to focus at Camilla. So now I can adjust as well. Press double click Camilla and press F. Something like this. Right. If I render like this, it is okay as well. We can test it, just render a few frames. Right, maybe here. Right now, just try to export your VR 360 degree sample 02. I click save. It is going to render just a few frames, about 100 frames here. And we can just wait for a while and see what is the effect. Now this is just 114 frames. Right, for this camera, because of the camera is moving and always focus on this avatar. So the whole the whole 3D, the whole 360 degree VR is moving as well. Then if you are wearing a, a VR Google, then you can just see the moving effect of the camera. Now it's almost done, just left a, a few frames here. And done. Once, once done already, then you can open. You can see now this VR cam is keep keep on focusing on, on this avatar. Of course, you can turn your camera away to, to look at other places. Now this is just a few seconds, right? 
you can always loop everything just because of just now the camera is a little bit focused up so the behind just a little bit because to the bottom it is just normal right so all of this video you can upload it to facebook you can upload it to youtube as well to facebook and youtube is automatically turn it to, to the vr 360 degree video it is really convenient just by using the icon it you can do anything all the 3d animation just in 360 degree and it will be awesome because people can just use the vr i, I really love the vr 360 degree all right you also can just scroll down go to my video description i already uploaded some sample this is my sample vr 360 degree that i had uploaded in my video description the first link if you click into the first link and it will automatically open open in the new tab and this is the one that i uploaded right now i connect to internet the first link we have a look you can see this is the this is a project file that I take from Icron 5.0 generation file and I also render it as 360 degree. This one is uploaded by me a few days ago. It is really awesome to, to just upload some 360 degree video. Alright, that's all. It's cool. That's all for today about how to create the YouTube 360 degree video in Icron 8 to render it as a VR render it as a 360 degree video and that's all for today thank you for watching if you love my video tutorial if you feel all these tutorials are very helpful to 3d animations and game developing you can subscribe to my youtube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time i publish a new video tutorial you receive a notification immediately see you in my next video enjoy happy animation and game developing see you